Option in your home, in your home, oh, on the phone, on the phone, all alone, all alone, uh, I give it to you, no interruption. Yo, what's going on, guys? X Super Lob is here, and um, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to how to edit the epilepsy warning on your PS3. Uh, if you guys don't know what the epilepsy warning is, it's like that little health warning that happens after your cold boot on your PS3. It says like warning epilepsy, you know, blah blah blah. And if you're on EDA, it says this EDA firmware, you no know, hacker abused or something. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to edit that in this video. And um, before I start off the video, I want to do, I want to say that I did join HFH as if you guys saw the intro. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty psyched about that. So yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So we're gonna open up FileZilla, and um, what you guys wanna do actually is sign out, and you guys wanna load up Rebug Toolbox. You must um load up Rebug Toolbox. Um, if you're on IDA, you can load up Rebug Toolbox. I don't understand why people say you can't load it up. You can load Rebug Toolbox up on IDA. So um, yeah, you need Dev Flash access, um, which is in the Dev Rebug folder. So you do need um. What do you call it? Rebook Toolbox open at this time. So once it's open, you guys want to go ahead and connect over there to uh, Rebook Toolbox. And after you guys connect, go to Dev Rebug VSH Resource, and then go down here and drag out the two files called System Config underscore Plugin and System Config. Wait, what's it called? It's called System Plugin. You want to take both of those out. Now you guys can minimize FileZilla. Open up Rockomet RCO Mage V1. I don't know what the hell you call it, but it'll be in the. It's a GUI program. It's in the description below. Um, so you guys want to open it up, actually, and um, you guys want to go to Browse and you guys want to find System underscore plugin System Config. It's the 1.37 megabyte file. And then once it's there, you want to go browse right here. And when you go to your desktop, just name this file anything. It really does not matter. I'm going to name mine the swag. Um, and there we go. You guys want to uncheck all these boxes except for this one. You guys want to hit dump. And it says RCO successfully dumped. Now, what you guys want to do now is hold up. All right, now you guys will see you'll have a new folder called text. You just want to open up the text folder to find your language my language is English so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this with notepad plus plus and you do need notepad plus plus to um, do this actually you don't but I do really do recommend notepad plus plus because all the other things are really whack but um so you guys are gonna have to go ahead and find the string if you're on ETA you just type in like ITA or something and you guys should find it so hold on type in hacker and then it gets a, there there it is I think yep this PS3 IDA firmware has been created for the PlayStation community. No hacker was enjoyed. Blah 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 blah. So, yeah, this is exactly what we want to edit. Um, and um, I would recommend not making this string too long, because if it's too long, you might um soft break your PS3. And I don't understand why people get so scared about soft breaking. Soft breaking is nothing to be um scared about. It just reboots your PS3 into recovery mode, and you have to reinstall your firmware. So it's not that bad. So I'm gonna put a star here, a special character. I'm gonna put this PS3 is property of X Uber Bobbies. All right, that's good. Um, so how I'm actually gonna do this? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and save that. And once it's saved. Go ahead and go back over here and go to compile, and you're gonna find the XML output again. And you guys want to load the one that we just edited. I mean, not the one we just edited, the one we made in the first start. Remember, I named it the swag. Yeah, you want to hit open right there. And the RCO output. You want to save this in another folder besides your desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and save this in the text folder. You don't have to, but you want to rename it to system config. I'm just gonna rename, highlight this because I don't know. I don't want to type it all out, so I'm gonna go save this in my text folder. And sys s y s con f underscore plugin dot rco. Don't put the dot rco because it's already an extension. You can save guys. Now you want to put this on zlib and hit compile. 
this takes a while to process like a minute or so so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, no, actually I'm gonna um, wait it out for you guys so you guys don't think this is BS so um, yeah there we go RCO successfully compiled now what you guys want to do is now you just want to go back into your text folder where you or where you saved it and now you'll see you have a new file now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backup of the old one cuz I don't know if I fucked up or not when I didn't um, I would just make a backup anyway now you're gonna drag the new one onto your desktop go back into FileZilla and drag both files inside now go ahead and quit to the XMB and make sure you can still access your XMB if you cannot access your XMB and it boots you into recovery mode you did soft brick but that's nothing to be scared of um, and it looks like my PS3 booted to the XMB so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my Elgato reboot my PlayStation and show you guys that it did work um, so in the meantime why don't you guys um, subscribe to my channel if you're new leave a like um, and at this point if you have any questions please leave a comment below or contact me on Skype at straightfuckson69 so what I'm doing now is I'm rebooting my PS3 and um, I just rebooted it if you guys will watch my Elgato you guys will see the new welcome message that um, I replaced with the uh, epilepsy warning or health warning whatever you guys want to call it um, I have a really boss cold boot that I found online. Alright, now look at my new warning. It says warning. This PS3 is property of X Super Lobbies. And you can edit that warning thing. I just forgot to do it when you really don't have to do it. But uh, yeah, that's all for the tutorial, guys. And if this did help you, please leave a like. Um, comment if you have any questions. And see you guys in my next video. And before I tune out, I do want to say that I'm not going to be uploading mod menus that much anymore. Actually, I'm going to be um, doing more tutorials, CFW tutorials like this, um, because there's no one out there anymore that does really, um, like, you know, into the heart tutorials, because Emson Bombers got terminated, and a lot of you guys, um, you know, really, you know, went to that guy for tutorials, but I'm going to try to be your new MZ Bombers, you know, I'm going to try to provide the most in-depth tutorials that I can, but, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, goodbye. Cap City, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nigga don't want no smoke. Nigga don't want no smoke. Nah. Shots fire, man down. Murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. Nigga don't want no smoke. Nigga don't want no smoke. Niggas let's quiet get it. with them bodies let's hit get the floor. They hit the floor. Niggas don't want no smoke. Catch his ass at the liquor store. Man down, man down. Bodies hitting the floor. First 48, murder, yeah, she wrote. Murder, she wrote. Niggas don't want no smoke, they can't afford that.